Hey guys, this is Austin, and today I'm here with a video going over what to expect at CES 2013. If you guys are not familiar, CES is the Consumer Electronics Show. This is by far the biggest worldwide convention of tech where all the major companies, with a couple exceptions like Apple, but pretty much everyone else will come be there showing off all kinds of new tech, and I will also be there. So I'm hopping on a plane this weekend, I'll be spending an entire week in Las Vegas next week to cover all the cool new tech goodies and gadgets and all that kind of stuff exactly just for you guys. Trust me, I know I'll be in Vegas for a week, but I, well, I won't have any fun. No enjoyment whatsoever on my end. It's 100% for you guys. Did the nod sell it? Because I hope it did. If you've ever been to CES, you know that there are a lot of TVs there. When I say that, I'm not like using that word lightly. There are so many TVs absolutely everywhere. And usually there's some kind of gimmick. So a couple years ago, it was 3D TVs, which you know kind of sort of took off, but not really. Uh, last year was all about smart TVs, whether it would be Google TV or some kind of proprietary bit. But this year, I feel like we're gonna be going over to quality and moving on to 4K TVs. A normal high definition TV has a resolution of 1920 by 1080. Now this has been around for quite a few years and there's really nothing wrong with it, but if you ever take a look at a 4K TV, it looks much, much better, with over four times as many pixels crammed onto a really nice large display. Sony should be releasing their new Xperia Z, which is a five inch phone with a 1080p resolution. Now this is something I expect to see on several phones at the show this year, as 1080p is going to be the next step up from 720p that you see on most smartphones today. Now I've already taken a look at one phone with a 1080p screen, it was the HTC Droid DNA, and while there were some things I really wasn't a huge fan of on the phone, the screen was absolutely not one of them. The screen was by far the best screen I've seen on any mobile device. It's definitely going to make a big difference when it comes to other phones such as the Xperia Z. Windows 8 is also going to be big at the show this year. So it's only been out for a little while now, and believe me when I say that we're going to see some new and cool different things running Windows 8. So, of course, we're going to see normal laptops and desktops, that's pretty much a given. But we're also going to see some cool new Ultrabooks, definitely some new tablets, maybe even something from Nokia. So we've definitely been hearing some things about Nokia being able to make a tablet running Windows RT. And we'll see if that shows up at CES. My money's probably that we'll see it a little bit later on in the year. But regardless, definitely expect all kinds of crazy and wild contraptions running Windows 8 that we may or may not ever actually be able to buy. CES is such a big show that there are also lots of other, slightly smaller things that will be all over the place. So for example, we're always going to see cool new gaming PC stuff, so whether it's going to be new cases, graphics cards, motherboards. Intel, of course, will be there, and most likely we'll be talking about the new upcoming Haswell architecture, which is what we're going to be running in Core i3s and Core i5s and Core i7s a little bit later on this year. Now guys, I have a question for you. What are you interested in seeing at CES 2013? Like I said, I'll be there. I'll be doing lots and lots of videos from the show floor. So if you guys have anything in particular that you want to see me cover, definitely be sure to let me know in the comments down below. If you guys want to see all the awesome CES 2013 coverage, be sure to subscribe to the channel by clicking on my face right now. So it's a little bit awkward, but as long as you click on my face, you'll be able to check out all the awesome new coverage from CES. So of course, there's gonna be all the kind of stuff that I talked about here, as well as some cool stuff that I can't quite talk about yet, but definitely I've got some cool meetings set up, a couple of cool hands-on some products that you guys are not gonna wanna miss. Beyond that, be sure to hit up that like button if you guys enjoyed, and I will catch you guys next time. Large phones are getting bigger and bigger and bigger as the name, what? I definitely feel that lots of other manufacturers, they've kind of been probably paying attention to that. So definitely expect to see some more large screen TVs and phone, phones? <laughs> large screen TVs, you know, cause that's totally relevant to what I was talking about. And you say, hey, hit the button and it uploads it via Wi-Fi to Instagram or something. I mean, you know, it might not add, okay. So what we're gonna do this time is talk about all the cool stuff that will be coming out this year. Whether it be a tablet, phone, TV, magical robot that does the dishes, whatever. Actually, that's a dishwasher. Whatever, we're gonna be talking about it right now. <sighs> dishwasher, that's, actually, have you ever thought about that? A dishwasher is actually like a robot that pretty much everyone has. I don't know, it's, that's actually kind of cool. I just, I just kind of realized that. Everyone has a robot and it's called a dishwasher and it washes your dishes for you. You put it in and it washes your dishes. That is really cool. Is an appliance a robot? I think I should move on.